In this lesson, I want to explain how to add a label for score and changing the levels. Uh, here we go into the map in a word UI. As you can see, this is our word. You can add a graphic to your word. If you want to add a graphic, it's the main menu that I explained in the previous lesson. If you're going to the word UI, the word UI is exactly over the word that's connected to that. If you double click, as you can see, we have a button for navigating that we are using the keyboard that you don't need it. And this is the observer that I explained it. Here you can add, you can place it anywhere that you want. Here you can add a label for us. But the first button that I want or first thing that I want to explain it here is the labels. You can simply click and drag any label in a, your Word UI. You can change its name. And here you can change its, its scale and position or opacity. <clears throat> First thing that we want to explain here is a function. Function is user text. Here you can add any text that you want. For example, tutorial cells. Okay. If you click on anywhere, you can add a text to your scene. And after that, this is a, if you take a label, it's a default font. You can go into your um, uh, font editor. This is our default font. You can add any font that you want. For example, uh, font number one, you can name it to recognize it better. You can in the fonts and here you can change the color of your font and disable the gradient. And you can add a shadow to that. Okay, this is F1 font. As you can see, it's here and in the fonts you can change your font number one okay so in a user text you can type any font that you want a tracking means is you can specify the um, space between the letters for example two as you can see it's make it bigger another important thing that you have to add it is stick to it for example if you uh, go into text here it's uh, uh, automatically stick to the that edge and if you play as you can see your text is here if you change your uh, as you can see your <clears throat> okay as you can see it's automatically stuck to the edge some for example th this change of dimension is in a different mobile size it's, it sticks to this it's very important that your have to stick all of your object to the edge where you are so as you can see it's a stick to this very important here you can say help welcome screen welcome text and auto hide it's uh, it means after you start it automatically hide after one second if you <clears throat> start it as you can see one it's automatically hide because of the auto hide so since okay you can add another font with default font here i want to explain how to add a score a score you can set a score here and it's ready to change it you can hold and shift to change its position stick the stick to the edge and i want to i don't want to uh, auto hide if it's a zero it means it doesn't uh, hide anymore and it's still in a your scene another function is a score you can uh, select it as a score another thing that I might explain another scene that I insert here another function is a start scene name you can change alignment to the center. You can use new font, stick to the edge. And what is that? It shows the scene name. If you're going to do your word, here it shows your scene name. You, if you select that here, you can change your scene. For example, SS1, SS2, or SS, oops three it shows the scene name if our character goes there go into the map word select it okay start a scene name if you go in here start 
it's a scene name zero. Okay. And here, oh, what is that? It does not set it. Start scene names, correct font. Yep, it has to be show the names of, oh, for example, from the start. This is zero. I don't know why it's not correct. Nope, it has a bug, I think. Okay, another function is the unlock character or all color character. It shows the number of your character and you can show it here. Okay. Uh, going to the scene, I want to show the score and going to change it to score the font one and change the function to the score. If you change it to the, to the score, you can collect your coins and collect your score. In all words, yes, all words. Or if you have lots of word here, you can add a new word. So like that, <clears throat> you can uh, specify the score type. You can collect the number by distance. Okay, if you go in and uh, go toward your game, and uh, in the pixel you can uh, score at the distance, as you can see. Uh, let's start. It's a two. If you go, as you can see, because of your going and. Uh, going through the distance it's a score by distance and here you can add a point I've explained it for changing the levels and here it's a coin I want to show the coin number for me <clears throat> for coin coins here are the amount uh, the best is the, your best score what's different between current and the total if you selected the current it's always reset the, if you exit the game, it's always reset the number of the coin. If you select the total, it remain the previous number. Uh, okay, for example, I change it to the current. If you want to add a score multiplier, modifier, you can add it here. Alignment to the center, you can your phone and stick your edge. Going to the word and uh, I add some another scene <clears throat> and change I'm going to the action and in the previous session we insert the coin you can insert any coin W D W D I explained them before Going to the coin, it's in a coin. I don't want any camera shake. I explained them before. Reward coin, oh, it's very high. I want one. It means if you eat a coin, it's score you one here in the score. <clears throat> you can add the animation, replace. You can set the sound. I explained the actions. And here is it. If you start a game, look at here, you can change your score position. And if you score, as you can see, you can score your number. And that's it. Okay. So you can add a, a score, but coin here, it's very easy. And I want to add a level. Um, you can add a, another default font here and write it at the level here. I want to change my level and show my game of level if I pass it. And going to another font here, you can change its heights and dimensions and set it to the point and set it to the score and the score type point if you <clears throat> eat a point 
it means you pass a level, for example. And going to the word, for example, if I pass this level, I, I want to put an action here, for example, going to the action, for example, this is strike. It's not important, its name. For example, bring it there. Or I want to select here. If I reach here, if I eat that, I mean it's uh, it sets one level. Going to its action first, first, I want to disappear it. It means I don't want to see it. If I pass here, it's automatically set level. Going to the strike and change it to the coin. Okay, change it to the coin. You can add no animation. And here in the coin animation, coin reward, set it to the zero and set the reward point to the number one. It means if you reach here and eat that, one point add to your point score. And it means it is a one level. It is another level. Okay. And for example, if you go in here, add another action, set it to positive one zero and it's sitting like other it means if you reach here you are in a level two okay you can play it <clears throat> as you can see i'm in a level one and then uh, i scored uh, eat the coin and that's why i score as you can see if i reach here it's my level one as you can see it's changed to level one and if i go there and here, this is my level two. As you can see, it's a, it's opacity. It's uh, this action is zero, and that's it. And I explain how to uh, add a spring to your scene. So, in this lesson, you learn how to add a score and collect your score with the action, and how to uh, add a level to your game got the idea and you can use it in your game and you learn how to add a label and a default font in your game and the most important thing is to active stick to the edge it's very important because if you change your mobile dimension they have to be stick to the edge if you do not active that for example, if you play it in some mobile, as you can see, it's gone. Okay. Look at there. Get there. So stick to the edge. It's very important to changing the mobile size. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.